Hey guys, this is Dane Potter, Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. Today I'm going to show you how to design a skid using SolarWorks Weldments. So I'm going to make a 3D sketch. I'm going to start off with the bottom of the skid. and As you can see, it's upright, so we are going to select on the side of it and say along Z because as you look at the triad here, you can see in what orientation you kind of want it, and what we want is coming towards us, so that is Z. So we're going to say along Z and apply it along X. So on some dimensions. Throw on some verticals. Now it doesn't matter how long we make these because we are going to make them equal and apply a dimension. By control selecting all of these, making them equal, and then telling it I want these 8 feet. Now we need to sketch the top of the skid. Since we already have the points, we just need to connect the points. like so. Sketch in our braces. Now we have our skeleton. Now we need to apply the structural members. First thing we need to do is decide what type of member that we are using. To get started here, we are going to use tube rectangular because the bottom of the skid is going to be picked up with a forklift. So we needed some larger tubes there. So I'm going to say tube rectangular. I'm going to find 8 by 6. I'm going to merely just click on the lines of the sketch that I want those to apply to. Now we're going to change the size for the rest of it. And as you can see here, our lines are going straight to the middle of our tubes here, so we need to change that. So we need to edit the structural member with the correct group selected. We come down here and say locate profile, and I can tap on any of these points here. It's going to relocate the profile to where the sketch lies on the top of the tube, and that's what we want. So I'm going to create another structural member because it's another structural size. If fit form or function changes, it deserves its own feature. So this time we're going to use tube square. Select the size. I'm going to say 6 by 6. Come in and select the top. Say new group. Select the verticals. Select the braces. And there we have the frame of our skid. Since we no longer need our 3D sketch, we can turn that guy off by selecting and hide. As you can see here, we need a little bit more trimming here. So we can just hit Trim Extend. It's asking the bodies to be trimmed, so we just select the bodies to be trimmed. Now we select the bodies that are the trimming boundaries. Select a green check, and it trims these bodies around structural members that we have selected. As you see here, we don't have any supports for any of our equipment to sit on, so we need to add those. And we do that by editing the 3D sketch and just applying the supports that we want in here. Now we just need to add structural members to our supports. 
In order to keep the integrity, we are going to stay with 6 by 6. Now when we do that, the thing is sticking up halfway, so we want to locate our profile and pick the top. Say new group. And do the same thing for those members. So that way they are constrained to the top of the tube that is even with the other pieces of the skid. I wanted to show you how to add L angle. So we're going to come in here and pick L angle and pick a size. I'm going to select 2 by 2. Now when you apply the angle to the sketch, as you can see, it's not in the orientation that you want. It's in the default orientation. So what we do is we give it an angle to rotate about by coming down here to the angle section. Say new group, pick the other one. Didn't trim those up exactly like we want, but that's okay. We can just come in here and hit trim. See the bodies to be trimmed. The bodies to be trimmed about. And trim those guys up real easy. So in just a few minutes, we have designed a skid using 3D sketching and weldments. Thank you for watching this quick tip by Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.